guys, it's Melissa here, and welcome back or to my channel. And yes, I am aware that there is a update with the new mansion in Royal High, but that is not the video I'm going to be doing today because um, I wanted to get this video because I've been really excited to do this video for a while, and also there's probably a bunch of other videos from other YouTubers about the mansion update as well. So. I am going to be making, in this video, 10 outfits for some Halloween costume ideas for Royal High. Like I said before, I have been really excited to do this video because I haven't done outfit videos in a little while and I, for Royal High and I wanted to do it again. Also, I realized that in the past, like... The videos I made for like outfits have been kind of boring because all you're just looking at is the outfit. So instead I'm going to be doing like a voiceover of like my thought process and inspiration for the outfits I am making in the video. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so um, for the first outfit, I am doing a Grim Reaper outfit. I did put this, the lighting filter for this outfit is on like Haunted Castle, which makes all the surroundings like sort of like a monotone to make this more authentic. But the whole outfit itself is basically just black and white and gray. This one's very dark considering how this is, you know, like a Grim Reaper outfit. So I went for the um, Gothic Cutie corset because it has the little chains and choker on it you can't really see it because of the because i'm also wearing the vampire like cape with it as well i would have used the gothic cutie heels as well which i do have but i'm gonna use them in a later outfit so i ended up just using them on cherry heels and just making the black instead oops i don't know what happened there i'm <laughs> sorry um but yeah, this is basically the outfit. It's very dark and grim and a lot different than what I would usually make for like outfits. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next outfit. For this one, I am a witch, if you can't already tell. I am using, since I don't have a broom because the broom is like 100K candies and I don't want to farm that much. I am instead using this, uh, the dragon staff, and I'm also wearing the vampire's cloak again. That's what the name is, it, I believe. I don't remember. And I'm using the baby doll dress and some shower press sleeves. I'm also wearing the um, Batmo heels for heels, and yeah, I'm also wearing some like star earrings. And just, I use some droopy elf ears for the, um, because I'm a witch and I don't have regular ears, and the magical witch hat. I found, like, they were new hairs, so I used one of the new hairs. This is, like, this short curly one, which I found worked really well. Also, um... Yeah, so basically this is the outfit. I used a color scheme of purp like a dark purple, and, and then I used gold accents. So yeah, this is the outfit, so let's move on to the next. So basically what I did here is I have the pumpkin beret. Uh, that was a very large close-up. And I'm also wearing the, uh, if my thing won't like, I'm wearing the pumpkin earrings, but I'm also wearing the gothic earrings with it. So it actually looks really good with that. I'm just using like the paradise hair and then added some like the 60s curls bangs to it. I'm wearing the gothic cutie skirt and then the darling Valentina heels and then the dear dolly gloves. I am not wearing the uh, the gothic cutie sleeves. I mean not gothic sleeves, the uh, gothalia sleeves, because I'm going to use them in a later outfit, and I don't want to overuse them, even though they are really pretty. Oops, I did not mean to do that. So yeah, this whole outfit, I really like this outfit. I think this is one of my favorites so far, but yeah, so let's move on to the next outfit. So I have the 
filter here on vintage so you can't really see the colors but since i'm a ghost i'm obviously white i also put on some you can't see it because of the filter but i put on some like like or like a, or a purple pink accents to the outfit just so that we have just a splash of color to it but it is mostly white i just have these very like just white eyes so that like you can't really see much emotion i have the uh the royal rebel skirt and the dear dolly heels and i have some ghost wings because i have these in my inventory and i was like why don't i use them because i don't use them much I'm also using the Royal Rebel Veil and just the Summer Twist hair, and I can't really find many hairs that actually work well with this veil, but this was like, this is the hair that I think looks pretty good with the veil overall, but there aren't many hairs that do. So, yeah, so this is basically my ghost ride outfit and now we're going to move away from royal high and go back into autumn town okay so i lied when i said we were going to go to um back to wickery cliffs i have been calling wickery cliffs on town because that was the map name for like the past couple of halloween updates so i'm getting confused with that but um I were actually in the intergalactic trading hub because I have a alien outfit and this one kind of is like a pixie alien um, hybrid sort of thing that I kind of created. But the thing that I was kind of going for here is like all the plants that's that like the pixie is wearing are kind of like are like foreign plants so that's why like all the flowers are green and the vines are like purple but yeah this one's like i made like this very pastel and more cutesy because like uh some of the previous outfits are kind of more scary and some of the ones that are going to be coming up are more scary so i kind of wanted to throw some more um less some more like cutesy outfits into this mix as well so we're not just like for more variety but um yes yeah, so this is my alien outfit and i think this one's probably one of my favorites along with the pumpkin princess one so let's move on actually this time i think we're actually going to be going back to my career clips so let's go there for the next step so i use the gothic cutie heels for this because it is a toggle that makes you get leggings so i made the leggings like rainbow and then i used the summer fantasy top and just colored it white with some like very colorful accents to it and then put the gothic cases with it i also oh, used the so santa hat and the fuzzy cuffs for like that fuzz that they usually use on the outfits. And I just added the, these like heart shaped glasses that I don't remember the name of on it. And then this like crazy face and then a knife. So basically I'm just a killer clown. I also found this like really extra ponytail hair and then this like split magenta and rainbow uh, hair color. And I was like, oh yes, this is gonna be perfect for the outfit. So, um, yeah, this is basically what the outfit looks like. Uh, I ended up taking a while to do this one, but, yeah, this is our Killer Clown outfit. So this next outfit is a cutesy werewolf outfit, because, like, why not have a cutesy werewolf? So basically, um, I think my inspiration for this was probably, like, I don't remember the name of, the, of this uh character but like it's that like character from hotel transylvania with that's like the crush slash um friend of uh dennis i i don't remember her name but like she was like a very cutesy werewolf character so I, and i was just watching the third movie last night and i love the franchise so i kind of in, uh took inspiration off of this one so the so like the skin and like hair and all like the wolf features are like light and dark browns and then I just have a cute smiling face and then this one's wearing like 
uh, shade, like a light pink and a dark pink. I have the Enchanted Heirloom corset because I love the Enchanted Heirloom corset. It's really pretty. And the Gothic Cuties, I keep saying Gothic Cutie. I mean, if I say Gothic Cutie and there's no Gothic Cutie parts, I probably mean the uh, Goth Lolita. The Goth Lolita sleeves and then the Dear Dolly dress and then the, um, uh, the, not Dear Dolly, um, Baby Doll, uh, shoes. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're called. And then the Dolly and Valentina, uh, puppy ears. So, yeah, this is the outfit, and let's move on to the next outfit in this video. For this next outfit, I am a creepy doll. I know, so original. So, with this one, I just have, like, the creepy doll button face that, uh, people usually use. And then I'm also just wearing the baby doll dress because it has the word doll in it, and I love this dress. It's like my favorite royal high skirt with the sleeves and then the Dear Dolly gloves. I'm also using the Dear Dolly hair bow with the fruity cutie hair because this is like, it's one of those accessories. It's like the veil that I used in like the ghost bug outfit. It doesn't work with all hairs because sometimes it just floats and it looks kind of awkward, but it does look good with this hair, so I used it. Uh, I'm also using this can candle because I'm a doll ready to burn something because I'm a creepy doll. This um, outfit, this next outfit is um, ah, yeah. a bit more graphic, and this one is a mad queen outfit. So I guess my inspiration for this was like sort of the mad uh, not Mad Hair, the, uh, Queen of Hearts from, um, Alice in Wonderland, but, like, much more graphic. So, I ended up using the, uh, Mon Cherry skirt with this one, because I don't actually use the Mon Cherry skirt much, and it's really pretty. I'm using, I also have the knife, and I used the, uh, Royal Rebel sleeves, which I also don't use much, and then the corset, which I realized when I put it on, now has four different colors to it, so that's cool. I'm also using the Shell Harper's crown and the uh, emerald earrings. So yeah, this one is pretty simple, but it took me forever to make for some reason, because I was trying to get the colors right, so it ended up taking me forever. I'm using so for the final outfit, I am a zombie. So this outfit is kind of simp, is like more simple. Oh my gosh. I am sorry. My, my camera has been doing this the entire time. So this looks kind of simple. It's ba I basically try to go for like a casual outfit because like the look I was going for is like the this zombie just got bitten, just like, it was just a normal person going on with daily life who just got bitten by a zombie. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of why I have, like, a more sad expression, because, like, it's still kind of sad about it. So, yeah, basically, I just did a casual outfit with this one. I used, I found a pair of jeans and put it on, and then I used the oversized t-shirt with the... Um, Miss Lady Rose corset, and then the heirloom sleeves. Also, the rainbow uh, high tops, because I like the rainbow high tops. They're cute. So, um, yeah, this is basically the last outfit, and, um, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this one, but I think it turned out pretty well. Anyways, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it because this was pretty fun and I haven't done a um an outfit video in a while so I hope you liked it but anyways if you enjoyed make sure to consider liking and subscribing to see more content like this on my channel anyways guys have a great day night or afternoon bye guys